Today is a very special day in one of my favorite bank's history and also it's my really inspiring day. If you guess it right, yes, it is today the last day of Mr. Aditya Puri. Yes, he is the on the board of directors of HDFC Bank. He is the one who had made what is now HDFC Bank. And today is his retired day. And that is why to celebrate his occasion, what he has done for the last 25 glorious years, what he made that bank. I am today bringing you the book summary of this famous book, Bank for the Buck by Tamil Pandobadhyay. This is, he is a very good author, especially in this kind of banks and financial related things. And if you get in hand, do read his, all his books which he has authored. He has authored another two or three books also. You can go and check out in the Amazon.com or Amazon.in. You can get all the details. But today it's very personal and it's really uh, inspiring for me also. And it's a bit emotional because he is the man I have been looking for a lot many years in my banking career. And especially he is the one who has drafted me into this financial world of, uh, I would say, financial world of journey. So this is very emotional because uh, without him, I would imagine. And that is why this book is really, uh, you can get all the nuisance of SDFC Bank. How Deepak Parekh got in touch with Mr. Aditya Puri. How Deepak Parekh then gave all his power to Aditya Puri. Because Aditya Puri gave only one condition that I will run my bank, I will run your bank on my own terms. And that's what Deepak Parekh has done. And today, if you see, what is SDFC Bank? It's all because of Aditya Puri, it's all this confidential, all this the persons who are selected by Aditya Puri. They are the ones who have run this bank. And this is very, very emotional and it's very motivational also because such a bank came at a time when there was a lot of uh, liberations going on at that point of time and uh, there was nothing solid kind of thing from the government perspective but then again a private perspective came a private personality came and he just put his hand away and there's a great personality Parikh family and they started they wanted to start a bank voila then says and another bank i want to mention is kotak mahindra bank because that bank is also a really uh, dear to because he that is also a really motivational story if you if you get to hear if if somehow uh, Uday Kota gave permission and to write a book on that, then I would request Mr. Tamil to go and uh, write that book because that story is also an amazing story. I am sure because I am part of that bank and I can know what, what is exactly the story is all about. So without a further delay, this book is all about uh, the bank, how the bank is structured, how the persons have got into the bank, how the key personalities came into the bank and shaped the bank, what is, how it has gone into rough times because like I said, every business has to go up and down cycle. And so this, this institution also gone into up and down cycle. So what I've done in that particular time and what has, what all been the difficult times and the good times and the bad times and the fun times also. So it's a really good book to read about and you will get a broad perspective about what this SFC bank could have offered. Now, this book is all about uh, pages around, uh, I think, 322. So, rest is all about appendix. So, 322 is the pages published by Jayco Books. And I think it I brought it around uh, five years back. So, around 2015, 395 rupees. And uh, this book is really very close to my heart. And I would say, please read each and every chapter because that will give you a motivation to become an entrepreneur. That will give you a motivation to become how to create a team of such a beautiful plain vanilla people who are just striving for that particular one goal what they want it's not their bank it's not their getting the benefit they're getting only near the salary what is what is promised by the deepak park and other things or managing directors what or who are the managing the bank but see the passion of that persons who has been selected especially spearheaded by dr Aditya, uh, mr Aditya Puri. so i would guess this this book will be very motivation for you go for it and check out that link. They got the affiliate link. You can get all the details of that uh, link. You can click on that link to buy that book, and uh, you can get all the stories about that. Because this is this is one particular story I just want to do before signing off. The very first story uh, when uh, Deepak Parekh approached uh, Aditya Puri, and like I said, 
Aditya Puri was on top of top of thing. He was on a top of push, top one position of City Bank, and he was earning nothing. Then I would I would say more than one billion. I would say one million. So it, it was like that kind of key structure and salary structure was having. But the very important thing, if you see, when Deepak Parekh asked him what you want to head or not, that answer he was only skeptical about how we can manage. That's all. So coming down from Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia to India to his own motherland and doing something for the motherland, that's called the passion for the motherland. Without further ado, I would request again, please buy this book. This book is for every Indian to know how a foreign returned Indian came to India to create a growth story of a bank who is now the base of our banking history. So thank you so much. This is Mahesh Kadirvan. I am a financial freedom mentor, mentoring people to be financial literate and achieve financial freedom. So thank you so much. Hope you like this book summary. Do go for it because I have not deleted all the details because these details are really a very autobiography. Like we see in autobiography of a person, no? we get very emotional because we imagine ourselves to keeping a position. But this is autobiography of an institution. It's not an autobiography of a person or not an autobiography of a group of persons. It's an autobiography of an institution who stand on the pillars of this particular key persons like Mr. Aditya Puri, Mr. Deepak Parekh and every all thing. Parisutanka, to name a few. So I would suggest please go and read this book. There's only 300 pages. It will take only three to four days if you continuously sit for one or two hours. But this is the best book to lead and to be entrepreneur and to realize that how to manage it. So thank you so much. See you.